the Shang Dynasty, this piece was to keep the wine. It was used in uh, the ritual to the ancestor or to other ceremony, to the wing, to the sun, to all the spirits. And under the Shang Dynasty, you have different shapes in order to keep the wine. This one was to keep the wine and was a quite rare shape at that time, at the beginning of Anyang period or Yin Su period. For me, according all the pieces I saw during my life, I think it's one of the most important bronze of this shape. Uh, it's the decoration, it's all around the, the vessel. You have a change in the bronze, and the bronze have a, all the bodies with decoration and a large Tautier mask on the Lewen background. Uh, it's very rare, and it's exceptional by the casting, by the patination, and by the quality of the design. Ah, I first met this piece in Sotheby's London in 78 when they sold the collection of Dr. Phillips. Then after, the piece was bought by GT Tai, the major dealer in the States at that time. And uh, GT Tai was a good friend and also was one of my teachers. And I was able to see the piece in his uh, house, not in his shop, in his house, and one day I was lucky, he sold to me much later, I think in uh, around uh, 87, 88. The casting is wonderful, the weight is perfect, the design, you can look how deep is the design and it's cover all the pieces and the Tautier mask uh, is wonderful, you can see the the dragon, the two dragons who make the Tautier, you see the Lewen, the background in Lewen, and the patination, it's one of the best patination for such bronze. So we are really uh, in front of one of the best pieces uh, for this type. And you, when you touch, when you have the piece, you, you have a feeling and you think at those people who create the piece and they make it with all the feeling and the, all the religion they got, because it was something for the ancestor and for the spirit. So it was very important, especially in the Chinese culture. Oh, it was very difficult because at that time they used the technique of multi-mold. And much later, the Chinese, around the 5th, 6th century BC, they used the, the lost wax techniques. In Europe, we only use the lost wax technique, which is much easier. You, you make a mold in uh, wax and you, you cast your bronze. Multi-mold, you have to make one shape in a pottery, then to make a copy of it, break the, the pieces, make the mold, bring back the mold together, and after put the, the bronze inside. And it was a very, very difficult technique. I think it's an attractive price because most of the time you see Yo on the market we are much later in date, they are end of the Shang dynasty or early Zhou dynasty. And for a real collector of bronze, they will prefer always the Shang bronze. So we find them back in Japan or in uh, Taiwan. But very few pieces of this quality in the museum, very few. Uh, I think we can count on the two hands no more. <laughs>